Hello? Mina, where are you? I've been banging on the gate for, for God knows how long. Come open this gate. You lazy thing. Hurry up. Hi, hi. Are you person who lives here? Ah! Why did you touch me? Sorry, I, I didn't, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to touch you. I just who? want I wanted to. Who are you? Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. no, no. There's nothing to that. Uh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start. You're sorry for what? Touching me? Do you know who I am? Oh my God, this is Nina's fault. Did Nina send you to set me up? Is this, oh my God, you're disgusting. What, what you trying to rob me? So why are you talking to me? Uh, Nicole, what's the problem? Nina, what do you mean what's the problem? I've been knocking at this gate and you, you, you took forever to open up the gate. I'm sorry. Oh my God, who is this madman? Go, 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 go talk to him. Jesus. Sorry, I, I'm so sorry about that. It's, it's fine. No, I'm sorry. It's my bad. Who are you? Sorry, my name is my name is Charles. I I was wondering if this is Mrs. Johnson's residence. Yes, um, Mrs. Johnson, that's my mom. Oh, oh okay. Uh, that's 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 great then. My my name is Charles. My father is Honorable Charles. Oh. Okay. Yes, I I think I remember you. Yes. But my mom, she, she's not home, so you can't see her now. Can I, can I wait for her, please? It's, it's, it's urgent, very important. Please. Um, I have to call her first. Please. Um, hello, mom. Good afternoon, mom. Yes, there's someone here to see you. He said his name is Charles. Honorable Charles and son. Yes. Okay, ma. Okay, please come. Oh, I can wait. Thank, yeah. thank you so much. Jesus, thank you. Um, I don't know if you want water so I can get you. Yes, please. I I, I want some water if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I uh, I I'm I'm very hungry as well. So. No, it's fine. I'll get you food too. Thank you. Thank you so much. something in the kitchen so in case you need anything just pop me out. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you so why that madman touched my skin. Can you imagine? Oh, I've been cleaning this thing. I still smell like poverty. What is this? Oh, God, God. God. Come on, I hope I don't break out. I hope I'm not allergic to, to that touch. Oh, God. Now I'm going to smell like poverty and disgustingness. Oh. oh my god. I think I have to go to the spa and do like a full body scrub. Honestly. Eh? Which kind of problem is this now? Which kind of thing is this? Oh god. Oh 
god. If I don't get rashes from this thing, I hope I don't break out. Because this is now... <sighs> Nina! Nina! I'm sorry. Nina! I'm sorry. Why are you talking to me? You still smell. Nina! What, what is he doing here? You actually let a mad person come into this house and then you're feeding him? He's not a mad person. This is Charles Jr. His father is the owner of Search and Charles Limited. Don't you know him? You, you, you think I give an F who this is? Kick him out now! Well, I called mom and she asked me to let him in. Oh my God, get him, get him out. Get him out. Nina, I'm talking to you. I can't touch him. Welcome, Mom. Oh, oh, Welcome, Mom. Mommy, you're here. Don't... Mommy, who is this person? And Nina let this mad person into our house, fed him, and he's still in this house. Don't talk. Don't talk to me. Nicole, calm down. She called me. Charles, when did they release you from prison? Today, Ma. You couldn't clean up before coming? I, I tried to clean up, but I didn't have any money. I, I I met some of my family members, but nobody wanted to accept me. They are still angry with me. They think that I that I killed my father. I had to call my father's barrister, uh, barrister Jude. He's the one who who sends me your way. He said I should come and look for you. It's fine. Have a seat. Mother. Yes. Who can sit down? Sit down, Charles. Mommy, he has to go. This is disgusting. What are we keeping mad people in the house now? Nicole, calm down, okay? I will sort this out. Um, I'll be downstairs shortly, Charles. Nicole, don't look at me. You're disgusting. Mommy, he has to go. The whole house smells like freaking poverty. what I'm saying. I want to know why you are putting up with this thing right now. I don't understand. Listen to me. I'm owing that guy. In fact, his late father. I don't understand. Those people you see are the reason for the huge success that we have. And the agreement is that he will marry you when both of you grow up. Yes. If not, I will have to repay them all the money that I owe them plus the interest. And this money in question is actually running into billions. Mom? Yes? Sorry, you said something. You said I have to marry who? The guy downstairs. That was the agreement for all the investments and all the money that his father gave me to start me out in business. God forbid. I am not going to marry that man. I'm not even ready to marry anybody right now. Not that stinking thing downstairs. What are you saying? Nicole, listen to me. You're betrothed to him. How? Yes. If you do not marry him, I will have to pay him back the money that I owe his dad. Oh my God. Do you know what? Why don't we just calm down? Right now, he's poor, he's dirty, he's thinking, so he's not the kind of person that you want to have anything to do with. Okay. So I doubt if marriage will be the uppermost thing in his mind. Okay, but mom, you just said I'm getting married to him. Yes, but that's the arrangement. But I need to go downstairs and find out why he came. And while I'm at it, why don't you just sit down and think hard? Because... If you refuse to marry him, I have to pay them every single dime that I owe them. And that means we are going right back to abject poverty. Yes, we will be bankrupt. So sit down and think about it. Oh. I'm not marrying him, mother. Let's find out. Oh. Auntie, you know how things are. It's very difficult finding anything for people who have been incarcerated, especially in this country. 
none of my family members are, are willing to help me and I need to sort out some things. I'm in a very, very huge mess. I need to sort it out. Uh, you, you know, EFCC took all the properties, all the assets, everything is gone. I'm aware. What exactly do you want me to do for you? If, if, if I could get a loan, I'd appreciate a loan of 10 million naira, if you can, please. Charles! Where do you want me to get 10 million naira from? Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe 10 million is a bit too steep. How, how about half of that? Five. Five will be, will be fine as well, auntie. Please. Charles, I can't even give you 500,000 Naira. You know how the economy is. Business is not looking up. It's oh, not there. Oh, okay, okay. If you don't have the money, would you please employ me so I have gainful employment, so I can work. I can work my way in the company, in your company, please. My goodness. Charles, how can you possibly say this? How can you say this? When you were incarcerated, it was all over social media. Someone in my office can actually see you and recognize you. You want the company that I've built with sweat and blood to go down in a jiffy? You're pushing me to the wall. I, I didn't want to have to remind you, but you and my father had a contract. Are you willing to pay me back the money you owe with interest? Are you willing? It's in the contract. I'm talking about the contract. If you want us to go that route, there is a clause in that contract that says that if I cannot afford to pay that money back, that I should give you one of my daughters to get married to. What? Yes. No, 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 you can ask your father's lawyer. It's there, written down in black and white. And right now, I do not have this money to give to you. And I am very willing to release one of my daughters to you but, to marry. But what am I going to... What in the world am I going to do with one of your daughters? I'm just coming from prison. I have nothing to my name. Why would I want to get married? One of them was actually betrothed to you, so we're just, it's just like sitting down pretty waiting. She's yours for the asking, in place of the money. Auntie, this doesn't make any sense now. I'm just coming from jail, I have nothing, I have no money, I have no means of earning any single time. I don't even have a roof over my head and you want to offer me your daughter? What am I going, what the, why, why, what's the reason for getting married? How does that benefit me in any way? I'm terribly sorry Charles honestly I empathize with you but my hands are tied I do not have, you know how the economy is I do not have that money I'm I'm terribly sorry I'm not going to marry that guy. Can you imagine the audacity? Thinking that me, me like this will marry a dustbin. Mommy, I'm not doing it. This is not even the problem. The problem is paying back that money. If I don't follow the agreement, I will have to pay back that money. And he's running into billions. Mommy, then pay back the money. Shut up. Do you know how much we're talking about? I said billions. You don't get it. If I should cover that kind of money, that's... That's if I even have it. We will go right back to bankruptcy like this. Honestly, I don't know. Sorry. Um, I've steamed the chicken. I want to know if you want me to fry everything or divide it. No, no, no. Divide it into two. Fry half and then keep the other one. All right, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> What is funny? Nature 2024. Nature. 
What's the meaning of that? <sighs> Mother, are you listening? I am. Nina weds Charles 2024. They're named together. Okay. It's a hashtag. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Explain. Okay. Mommy, Charles doesn't know what daughter of yours is betrothed to him, right? So, Nina is your daughter. He doesn't have to know she's your stepdaughter, so we can just push her to him. That's it. Oh my goodness, you're a genius. Thank you, Mommy. For the first time, this pretty head of yours. It's working. It I know, is. I know. Leave it for me. Mommy, anything that has to do with a man, that's my department. Oh my goodness. Are you proud of that? Yes, I am. I'm good at something. What's wrong with that? Oh my goodness. All right, but you know that Nina is not a pushover. So how do we get her to accept this? Nina. Do you still want to graduate from school? Yes, ma'am. I really want to graduate with my mates and but I haven't paid my fees and if I don't pay, I won't be able to do that. Oh. Then you will have to marry Charles. What? Listen, Charles is a good guy, all right? It's unfortunate that he went to prison. But that happened because his father's competitors framed him up. He's not a bad person. Wait, Nina, you're a good girl. You don't want to marry Charles because he doesn't have money. It's, it's not because of his financial status. I don't even have a relationship with Charles. Okay, um, let me explain this. You see, um, Charles' father learned me money and started me off in business years back. And the agreement is that one of my daughters will marry the son when they all grow up. If not, I will have to pay back that money with interest. Nicole here was actually betrothed to Charles. That's the truth. But I do not know if your sister has told you that she's engaged. Yes, she'll be getting married anytime soon. Now Charles is out of prison and he's here to either get his money or get his wife. If I don't give him any of my daughters to marry, I will have to pay back that money to the last cent. The money in question is running into billions. If I put all the cash that I have together plus assets, I won't even be able to make that payment. So please, this is the predicament your mom has found herself. I need you to marry Charles so that I will not have to pay back that money. And then you will even be able to finish your education. Please. I am aware that um, getting a wife is not the most important thing for you right now. I'm very much aware of that. Besides, you also told your dad when he told you that you had a betrothed wife that you were never going to marry any betrothed wife. That you would rather see the person for yourself and choose by yourself who you wanted to marry. But you never came. Neither did you even ask after her. But... That's all aside. But the only option that we have is you marrying my daughter if you truly want us to follow the contract that I signed with your father. Auntie. Auntie, I'm only here because I have no other place to go. Auntie, please. Think about all the times my father came through for you. Eh? Please, one good turn deserves another. Honestly, Charles, I, I truly empathize with you. I do. 
But unfortunately, my hands are actually tied right now. I have no other choice. Besides, this is my daughter, Nina. I would like both of you to familiarize, get to know each other, talk. I will return to know whether we can make any headways from here. Okay? I am very sorry. A perfect match again. A match made in heaven. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the most miserable and horrible marriage ever. I love it. You know, this is this is such a perfect revenge against my rival's daughter. Really? <laughs> you know, she told me that Kama was coming for me because she said I stole her husband. I'm sure by now she'll be cowling in the deepest parts of hell. <laughs> Mommy, yes, dear. do you know I love this energy that we have? We're so mean and I love it. But those people at the illusion of known. It's nothing like karma. I know, of course. And you know, I really wish that they would live somewhere very close to us. Oh. Yes. Both of them. So that once in a while, when I feel like having a very good laugh, I will just tiptoe to where they are and watch them and actually laugh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Why? No, no, no. We're on the same page and then you lost me. Have you smelled that guy? That guy is disgusting. If he lives two blocks from here, I can actually still smell him. So no, mommy. They can't live beside us. Ew. How is Nina enjoying all of that? Mommy, Nina is also a pig. So two pigs. That's it. Oh, I love this. Oh my goodness, you're so mean! I got it from my mother! <laughs> this whole thing is wrong. Especially at this time and moment of your life. I mean, even if you want someone to spend the rest of your life with, as a man, you should be the one to decide that. And not someone doing that for you. You know what? I don't think you understand. I'm literally just coming from prison. I have no money. I have no place to rest my head. I have no family. I have nothing. Now you people think I need a wife? Really? It's my mom, and I, I understand. I also understand you have so much belief in my mom, and that's the reason you're here for her to help you. Unfortunately, her condition, which is in line with what she agreed with your late father, is not favoring you, but... No, I don't need to hear all this. I'm out of here. I'm a woman and I shouldn't be pressured into marrying a man out of my wish. It's clear to me that you people have this all figured out and pre-planned. That's what it looks like. Nobody planned anything. I don't know you. I don't know what you did that made you go to jail. 
and it's obvious you really want to go. But I think you have to be careful while you leave. But if you ask me to advise you, I think you should stay back, cool your head, plan better, just so you don't go out there and make another mistake. You've been seated here all this time. You should come inside. Huh? I brought juice. If you need anything, just call me. Are we good? We'll see how it goes, madam. Fantastic. Great. I do have a favor to ask, though. Okay. Let's hear it. Madam, as you very well know, I, I don't have anywhere else to go and I don't want to go back and be in the streets or anything. So if you would be as kind as to Accommodates me even for a little while. I'd appreciate that very much. Hmm. Mm. Well, um, you know that children of nowadays in life, you are actually supposed to start from the scratch. Life is in phases, you know. Your dad was an honorable man, and because of that, I would, I would. It's not a challenge. I would give you an accommodation, but only on one condition. What's the condition, Auntie? Um, that you will make yourself very useful. I do not have a security man at the moment. So it wouldn't be a bad idea if you fill in that space. Now, I need you to take note of something very important. You will have to always hide your face whenever we have very important personalities visiting. I do not need to remind you that you're an ex-convict and uh, it would not be nice if they see you. Okay, ma. All right. And of course it's not for free. You will be getting a 50,000 Naira stipend. Okay, Mark, thank, thank you so much. Uh, talking about the stipend that you plan to pay me, would you mind if the money is paid up front? Because like I told you, I, I don't have anything and I have... Oh, not a challenge at all. If you want to get the money right now, you will have it. Not a problem at all. And I would advise that you also hasten with the decision of... Um, Get married because don't worry about the wedding. You will have a lavish wedding. Can't see of me. I could do that for relationship that I have with your father. So um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. She will show you around, okay, and take you to your. Own. All right. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mother. Yes, dear. Oh, okay. Did you did you just hear that? Lavish <laughs> wedding choir. Like how, what is that about? <laughs> hey, wishes were verses. No. That girls would write. <laughs> An ex convict condemned by the law. Condemned by the whole world. How how does a generation say it again? They play the Play, play. Just the play, mommy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just the play. 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 Oh. Just the play. But mommy, why did you agree for them to live here? You know that guy retains me. I didn't have a choice. Listen, if I didn't allow them to stay here, very soon he will be suspecting that Nina is not my daughter. Yes. Which mother pushes out her child to a man that has no accommodation? Think about it. So, and besides, staying here also works for us. He stays on at the security. She continues her duties as a house help. So, whichever way it works, and then we have free comedy anytime we want it. Mother, okay, okay. I love this plan. It's a great plan. Mother is a genius. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness, a lavish wedding. Poverty lavish wedding. <laughs> okay, sorry about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day for you, so... I think you should just freshen up. There's soap already in the bathroom. And this is toothbrush and toothpaste. And I don't know if this is going to fit. You can just try. And then this is sponge and towel. So you can just go freshen up while I make dinner and get get it for you. Nina. Why is my breakfast not ready? Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to tidy up the house. I feel that I'll fix you something to eat. So you, you actually didn't make my breakfast because you want to you want to sweep? That's actually a silly excuse. I'm giving you 20 minutes, Nina, to get my food ready. If that doesn't happen, I bet you you're set for a horrible day. 
Nico, mom is expecting some people in a few minutes. Let me finish tidying up this place and I'll fix you something to eat. You have 20 minutes. Unless I'll make your life a living hell. Hey, let me help you with this. Go make the food. Don't worry, I, I can do this. I insist, please. So you don't get in trouble. Go make the food. Thank you. Yeah. No, the car is washed. I washed it last night and it's still clean, so I didn't feel the need to wash it anymore. So. Are you serious? You do not know you're supposed to wash a car every blessed day? It's it's clean, man. You can check it. There's, there's no dust. Holy moly. With all your years abroad? Charles, please, I do not want to freak out right now. Let this be the very last time you will not... You're supposed to wash a car every day for crying out loud. I'm sorry, Ma, that was my mistake. I will not do it next time. I'll watch it. Open the gate! Nicole, um, I don't know if you are aware that I haven't heard from more business agreements before I took your place with Charles. And how is that my business? Nicole, I have to pay for this exam. That's my final exam. Okay, so you want to disturb me and mommy with your, with your rubbish problems? Okay. Mother says she's going to get to it. She's going to get to it. Right now, she's not ready. So you just have to wait. Nicole, I don't have time. This is very urgent and important Nina, to me. Nina, get out of my sight right now before I lose my temper. Go! to pay this fees just so I can write the exam. Please. Nina, I do not have money to give you to pay your fees. Business has not been looking up. I mean, you promised that if I marry Charles that you are going to pay the fees. Oh yes, I promised that. I know, but I do not have the money right now. Okay, you know what? If you do not graduate this year, then you can still go ahead and graduate next year. Mommy, please. I really want to write the exam with my mates, please. Oh my goodness, somebody will say I'm a wicked woman. Okay, you know what? Why don't you just go ahead and sell all those jewelries that your late mom left for you, pay your fees and graduate from school? I don't have money to give you. Mommy. But you know, I'm not supposed to sell those things. My mom asked me not to sell any of them. I should keep them. Really? Your mother asked you not to sell any of them. You should keep them. All right, my darling. I do not want you to offend the spirit of your dear mother in the grave. Keep those jewelry. Put them in a chest and take care of them. You're not ready to go to school yet. You have ten extra years. You serious? Get out of my sight. Holy moly macaroni. Can you just let me have some peace and quiet? Get out of my sight. Jeez.
हेलो आर यू इन द मार्केट ओके आई बी कमिंग देयर सून I don't understand. She doesn't want to sell her mother's jewelry. Mommy, I'm going out. Is anything the matter with you? Are you sick? Mom, you're going out. Where are you going to? What are you going to do there? When are you returning? And then you find out whether I want to give you my consent or not. I'm sorry, man. Sorry for your stupid self. Where are you going to? I want to go to the Bakara market so I can sell my late mother's jewelry and then pay my fees. Oh, finally. You have borrowed yourself some sense like they usually say. All right. One hour and you're back. Mm. One hour will be enough. Before I get to the junction and get a bus to take time, can I please get two hours? All right, before they say Stephanie is wicked, one hour, 30 minutes, one second on top of that, you will land yourself in a pot of hot boiling soup. Thank you. Silly. Can you imagine? Well, at least she now wants to sell the jewelry that her late mother used to do big girl. She should have sat here and wait for you to give her school fees. She will wait for eternity. <sighs> Mommy, excuse me, I'll be back, okay? All right, darling. I'm actually enjoying this movie. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gaffa. No, listen, listen. I get better business for you. Uh, my sister won't go back to market today. She won't go sell some goods, so she will carry up her bag. Okay, listen. What I want to make you do is eh? obtain the bag, carry everything. Do you? Sharp. Nah, nah. Rush come off for us. Nah, 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 nah. She just fall out. They go, they go, they go. I come when everything don't happen. Sharp. Why are you crying? Because of the story that you just told us. Okay, yes, they stole your jewelry, and then what happened? Stop crying like somebody died. Nicole, that was my only way of getting money to pay for my feet so I can graduate. Must you be a graduate? No, Nina, must you be a graduate? Because you're looking for one title or the other. Now you went to go sell your mother's precious jewels. Oh, I landed you. Please, 
Can you help contact the police? Just so maybe they can catch them before they say it. What police? What police? You want my mother involved in all these your criminal activities? You want my mother to come and start calling police for what reason? Mommy, don't call anybody, oh. You're looking for who to rope in this mess. Ha. Oh hmm. Nina, you are very wicked, oh. I have been in this house taking care of you. Feeding you, clothing you, caring for you ever since your mom passed. You never even thought of giving me any of those expensive jewelry. Now, they stole them from you. And you want me to call who? You want me to call who so that they will do what? Eh? Mommy, I just had to sell them because did you not do what you agreed to do? Shut up! So it's my mother's fault that this happened to you. Mommy, see, see, see. No, no. You see the problem? Am I might talk. It's my it's not her fault now. It's my fault. Eh? It's my fault. Get out of here before I slap you. Get out! My fault. <laughs> oh. I'm looking for screen baby. Will be like stupid? It's my fault. I really don't know why you're sad. I said I lost everything. That's like the only hope I have to clear myself from school. And what if I told you you didn't lose anything? Hmm? What do you mean? What if I told you you didn't lose everything? But you took my bag and that's where everything is. No, listen, listen, I get better business for you. Uh, my sister won't go back to market today. She won't go sell some gold, so she'll go carry up her bag. Okay, listen, what I want to make you do, eh? Obtain the bag. Carry everything. The eh? Sharp. Nah, nah, rush come off for us. Nah, 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 nah. She just pull out. They go, they go, they go. You weren't taking your calls, so I called her boosting list. Who is a boosting list? He's one of the bad guys that patrols this area, apparently. I met him in prison. Okay, so was he able to help? Turns out that the guys are loyal to Abu, so they are going to keep the bag. They until have, they get it, yeah. They have the bag. Yeah. And don't worry about it. They're going to give Nicole a nice story. Everything's going to be fine. It'll be lovely. Thank you. Uh, Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Are you going to bring the bag? Don't so worry about it. Your bag is safe. Everything is fine. <sighs> yeah. You'll be able to clear and do all those things. I guess uh, going to prison has its perks, have you? Thank you. It's fine, you're welcome. You know, the way these people treat you, it's not right. It's making me wonder if you're even related to them at all. Because that's how it seems. She's my mom. So why does she treat you like a maid? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm serious. Like, why does she treat you like a second-class citizen? I'm telling you, it seems like you're not even a biological daughter. She was supposed to give you that money to use for your clearance, but she didn't, and that's the reason why you had to sell your jewelry, and then Nicole called to have the thing stolen from you. That's not proper behavior. And that shows that there's an underlying issue there that you're not willing to tell me. I thought we were close enough. Come on, talk to me. I'm her stepdaughter. And I'm not the one betrothed to you. It's Nicole. 
But Nicole says she cannot marry you. So I had to. Wow. With good reason, I guess. She promised to help me clear my bills in school. And I really want to graduate with my mates. So I had to. But she, she didn't keep to her own side of the bargain. Charles, I'm really sorry this is happening like this. But please promise me this will not get out of here. <laughs> you know, for what it's worth, I'm happy that you are the one here. I don't see anything that's there not to like about you. And about the entire thing, I promise. My lips are sealed. I won't tell anybody's between us. Okay? Thank you. Oh, well, everything is recovered. Eat. You deserve this food more than I do. <laughs> you don't always recover. Thank you. You should eat soon. I will. But you know. You know. <laughs> Understand. And they tell you, say, my sister just come house. They tell me, say, they obtain her for road, carry her back, collect everything with day inside. You can't tell me, say, no, be you and your guys run up. So who run up? Come, let they wind me. I know they like all this kind of talk. You think I be all those Lagos girls when are they, when are they used to play? Okay, calm down, calm down. I know, say, you co collect the bag, collect what's in day inside. Guy, return now sharply. Return and come back. What do you mean, say, you don't collect anything? I don't understand what's going happen now. You, you won't use me, they play. Which kind of... Hello? This fucking guy hung up the phone. Ah, fuck. Well, all thanks to you because, yes, now I'm done with my clearance. Mm -hmm. I've settled all the departments I need to settle. I mean, all this wouldn't have been possible if you hadn't helped me get my jewels from that guy. Well, I'm happy to help. Congratulations, babe. <laughs> you called me babe. Yeah, I did. Really? I mean, aren't you my babe? If I'm not your baby, it's not again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yes. what's next for you? Youth service or? Uh, youth service. Well, what I know is um, I'm supposed to get a letter of exemption mm -hmm. and then I can just start working. But there's this new thing they want to start now, like open university students can now start going for youth service, mm -hmm. but they haven't implemented it yet. I just want to get my certificates and start working. So I just be able to afford anything you want and then save a bit. You know you you're amazing. You know that. Right? You're amazing too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was outside. It doesn't matter, I don't care. <laughs> What? I don't know. I'm changing my question. <laughs> no. Why is it so bad? I really hate you, but it's actually good to that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe more for that. Mm-mm. 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 
Mommy wants you upstairs. Oh, she wants me to do something for her. Now she wants to do something for her. Hey. Don't finish it though. Don't, don't worry, it's fine. But don't finish it, I'm coming. <laughs> And for you, you think this is what you're here for? Fine boy, broke ass. Day, mm. I'm going to be crowned the best graduating student, which is what I am. Uh -uh. Look at you. Yes. O'Shea first class. <laughs> I like it. You Thank know, this you. is something that we can definitely celebrate. Yes, yes. I really like it. My first class, babe. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> first class in the back. Still having some words in the back. Oh, this. Um, <laughs> well, this is a laptop. Yes. You know, the other day you said something about being unable to check the internet to look for jobs. Then I had to get this for you. Did you use the money for your jewelry to buy this? Babe, I know we're supposed to save for that thing, but you really need this to help you. Oh my god. I know it's a second hand, but then it's. Why are you so sweet? Thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you yeah, so much. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah, you like it? I love it so much. Mm. Wow, let me. Babe, you have to charge it. I know. I'm so excited. Okay, let me know. I'm so excited. Let me <laughs> charge it. Let's go. Hey, babe. <laughs> I heard you loud and clear. I don't have hearing problems. My question is, where did you get the money from to do that? Nina! Ma? Have you started stealing? Or you started selling your body to men for money? No. Charles helped me. Which Charles? Charles. Charles. A man that doesn't have any job well, he has a job, but can that be called a job, actually? Where did he get the money from? Well, I didn't ask him about that. You did not ask him and you collected money? What is wrong with this girl? What is your problem? See, I don't want anybody arresting me here. Do you know why he went to prison? Do you know? He's from a wealthy home. It's possible he has wealthy friends or people he knows. Listen, I don't want anybody coming here to harass me. You know what? Honestly, I think I'm going to look into this. Your days are numbered for you and Charles. Your days are actually numbered in this house because it's time for both of you to leave. I don't want to get into any form of trouble. Before I will sit down here and then they'll just come arrest me for what I don't know. Someone gets money. You don't know where they get money from. They collected, they gave you, you paid. For you and Charles, I really have to think about this. Your days are numbered in this house. Oh, you've gotten your results. Congratulations, graduate. Thank you, ma'am. Did she say thank you? Oh my goodness. So mom, how do you think a guy that has no friends, no funds, and hardly talks about family, where do you think he raised that kind of money from? You know, I've actually been thinking about that. I'm as surprised as you are. This doesn't make sense anymore. Even the other day, I, 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 saw, I saw Nina with the laptop, Nina and Charles, and I had to call Nina to myself, mom. What? Why didn't you tell me immediately? I was trying to handle it myself, mother. I spoke to Nina about it. I asked her where did he, you know, Charles get the laptop from. She told me he bought it himself. She even went as far as showing me the receipt that he bought it with. I, I, mommy, I don't know what's going on. We have to be very careful with those two. 
I don't know the whereabouts of those two people anymore. Something is off, mom. I think we need to pay more attention to them. Imagine, she had the effrontery to tell me that she has gotten a job and so she won't be staying at home most of the time. That she has to go do her work and she wants to be living here and eating for free. I hope you told her no mom. Because now she has a job, they have to pay for everything. For accommodation, for food, every single thing mother. She's earning only a hundred thousand naira. How much can she possibly save in this economy? Mommy, no. We're not doing that. You're not gonna encourage that behavior. If she's gonna stay here, even if she's making twenty thousand, she will pay out of that twenty thousand. We're not running a free organization. Nicole. I'm threading with caution. Charles must not find out that Nina is not my daughter and that she's not his betrothed. Yes. If their lawyer should come for me, I have to pay every dime to the letter. All the money that I have in cash and assets <laughs> won't even go near making that payment. Listen, the interest has been running for 25 years now. 25. We have to be very careful. Hey, let me do this. From today, henceforth, I'm going to do all the chores when you have to work outside so you're not late, okay? Thank you so much, my king. You are welcome, my queen. Thank you. All right, so let me just skip. Yes, please. Giving them 10 over 10 minus nothing. Yeah, you look okay. gorgeous, I'm telling you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, well, as a good as a good guy, I will give you some money for transport and also a snack. <laughs> okay. What are you laughing? Thank you, but don't bother. No, All right, no. I'm fine. Don't tell me not to bother this. Look, I know that I don't have all the money in the world at the moment, but I'm working to Get us what we dream about, okay? Amen. Yeah, amen. So take it. Babe, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait now. Let me take. Let me take some. Some. Yes. This is fine. Take it. What about? <laughs> take. Have a great Bye. day. Bye.
Nicole, can you please stop? Stop it now. Or what? It's your job to clean after me and do everything that I say. So clean after me like your madame. Okay? Do it. I'm so clumsy today. Oh my god. I've, I've, yeah, you missed I've, the spot. I've clean. You missed the spot. Another spot. <sighs> What are you guys doing? So my mother will make money and you two fools will sit here and spend all the money but when you make your money you hoard it and keep it to yourself? You know what? That ends today. Nicole, what are you saying? Are we not part of this family? What family? That family ends today. Okay? You guys cannot sit here make your own money and keep it to yourself and then think that you're going to be in this house. So move out. Both of you. Carry your nonsense whatever you're doing and go and do it in your own house. And for you, Nina, Next time I'm speaking, you shut up and listen. If you repeat or speak after me, I will show you I'm your older sister. What's wrong with that one? Who made Nicole my elder sister? Maybe it's a big body that is deceiving her. No, uh, meat mm, there is no meat again to eat now, so what? <laughs> Fine. Better eat food. Fine. I was in the bathroom. Is that what I pay you to do? Sit in the bathroom all day? Well, no, but Nicole already opened it, so I don't... Nicole, what? Why are you calling my name? Is that my job? Idiot. Charles, let this be the last time that you will keep me waiting for this long. Do you get it? I do, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Why am I even going back? No, 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 no. Hold on. Were you not the one that wasted your father's resources? You're here, they're helping you. A simple get man job, you can't even take it I, serious. I was trying to improve our fortunes, and you know. It's not my fault that the investors turned out to be frauds. Pay attention to your flaws. That's all I'll tell you. Him. Why did you just slap him when he didn't open the gates? God. Do you see the way he spoke to you? The audacity that that child has now. Hey, God, Bob. You know, oh, I, I do not blame him. I'm sure he remembers when I used to come beg his dad for assistance. And so? No, mommy, and so what? I get him before, no, besides, I get property. Oh. His father is dead. Him himself is broke. So you should act accordingly. Why are you making excuses? Not only you don't ask for assistance before. No problem. I'll tame him. I'm going to teach him a lesson. He will be humbled. I will start by deducting his salary anytime he opens that gate late. Better. I don't need to talk too much about it. It's fine. Please, dear, get me a glass of water. No, no, no. I I'm tired of all the insults. What's the meaning of all this now? It's better to be outside and sleeping under the bridge than to take all these kind of insults. Just Why? Calm down. 
Are you going to listen to me? Are you going to listen to me? Calm down. Don't let these people control you. Alright? Don't get distracted by their actions. We'll have a plan. Alright? Let them keep throwing their stones. And we're going to use it to build the I bridge. can't let them keep throwing their stones. This is somewhere that my father helped. All of a sudden, she seems to have forgotten. Gosh, humans are so wicked. God! That's how people are. That's how people are. Just calm down, okay? Everything is going fine. You're doing okay. Don't let today spoil everything, alright? Hmm? Calm down. Everything is going to be just fine. Alright? Let's go watch a movie. In their palo. In their face. <laughs> Mom, I wonder why these people are happy. Charles is broke. Broke men are not supposed to be happy. I mean, we have money and they seem happier than us, Mom. My dear, happiness is a choice. They have made up their minds that they are going to be happy. All right? And there's nothing we can do about it. We cannot stop them from being happy. The only thing is that when I throw them out of this house, they will decide if they will smile or frown. Me, I know what I'm going to do. I want to be a premium vibe killer in this house, mom. Premium bags, bags, bags. Don't worry, I know what I'm going to do. Whatever you're doing, you better make sure that your brain is intact. But Charles must never find out that Nina is not his betrothed. Do you understand? I have a plan, Mom. So, Charles, see, I've been doing all those things to get your attention. The truth is, I'm in love with you, Charles. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Wait. Did, did you say you've fallen for me? Charles, this is not a joke, okay? Mm. Just listen. Well, the thing is, my mom has willed all her fortune and her money to me. Mm. So I'm going to be very, very rich. If you choose me, you don't have to live a life of poverty anymore. Huh. You get all the money in the world and we get to be happy. I see. You know that even if you have all the money in the world. Hold well on, guys. Hey, honey. Even if you have all the money in the world, I want absolutely nothing to do with a horrible person like yourself. Ouch. Okay, that hurts. Hmm. But I promise that if you choose me, I'll change to a perfect little angel, the perfect girl that you want. I promise. That's all. Mm hmm. Well, I have you now. The devil, as I know, is way better than the angel that I don't know. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm in love with your sister. Like, madly in love with your sister. And I'd pick a life of suffering with her over a life of luxury with you any day, any time.
<laughs> I know Nicole too well. Mm. Yes. And I know what she's capable of doing. But again, this, <laughs> she's unbelievable. You said a man is mad. He's miserable. He's poor. He doesn't have anything. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, that's the man you now went for yourself. You're ready to give him all your mother's money that she's going to build to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the effrontery for me. She must really think I'm stupid coming to me with such a proposal. She better not do it next time. Otherwise, what I'm going to tell her, hey God, she'll regret it. You mean? <laughs> I love you. I love you more. <sighs> Mom, can you can you believe what that boy did to me? He completely embarrassed me. He made me feel like I'm 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 a she goat in heat. I, I don't understand this this idiot. Mommy, I always get what I want, and this time around is not different, okay? You know, I thought this was going to work. Well, apparently, their love is going to grow stronger now. What love? Mommy, what love? There is no love in the heart of men. The heart of men is completely cold. All they care about is money and what they can take advantage of. So that man doesn't love Nina. That, 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 that Nina that has nothing to give. I, I just give me a second, Mom. I have to think about what to do next. I'll come up with a plan. You bought me ice cream? Yes, I did. That's very kind. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. How was your day? It was good. Yours? Mm. Pretty good. You've been here all day? Yeah, I'm just trying to sort some things out. How do you not be here all day? She needs to go shower. You stink. Me stink? Mm -hmm. See your mouth. Mm. Go away, Joe. Mm. I need to sort some things out. Wait. Please, come on, Steve. Let's go shower. Ooh, you said let's go shower. Mm -hmm. But I quite like the sound of that. You're just very naughty. I am. Go, go shower. No, you said let's go I shower. Go you shower. said let's go shower. Let's wait, go. Just... <laughs> wait, okay, no, wait, wait. No, no, no. Test it out. Yes, I just hope it fits. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, it's going to fit. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you yes, serious? I have to wash it. No, there's no need. Why do you want to wash it? Okay, it smells okay. It smells clean now. No, How does no, okay no, smell? I bet let me test my new shirt, Joe. Mm hmm. Nice. See now, perfect fit. Let me see. Turn. Let's see. Let me see. Turn and let me see. Turn what? Turn. No. See now. <laughs> Turn around, let me see. Take in this pose first now. <laughs> I'm picking it too. How do you like it? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah, it's nice. I should just wear the shirt and go outside. Go away. We'll have to wash it. Mm. 
There's no need to wash it. It smells okay. No, it doesn't, babes. Mm. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. I'll wash them. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now you're coming from the top. so cute though oh god oh this guy don't enter my eye oh. i didn't even know that he was this handsome oh, what's his magic what does nina do to him that makes him glow like this now wow it's like I didn't look at him properly before pushing me out to Nina. Ah, Nicole, you don't F up. What do I do like this now? Mommy, do you know I'm beginning to find Charles cute and handsome? I'm beginning to see prospects in him. <laughs> Are you whining me? Mom. Why did you give my man to that to that girl? I want my man back. Go and give my man. Are you okay? You were the one that said he was broke, he was dirty and all of that. Now you want him. Those were your words now. Wait, oh, are you planning to bring one broke ex-convict to me here as a son-in-law? Who's talking about marriage? I'm not talking about marriage here. I just want to... I want to taste that thing that he's giving Nina that is so sweet. Without money. And then once I find out what it is, I'll scatter them. Everybody will rest. Talking about marriage. Can you imagine that that girl has a husband and me, I don't even have a boyfriend, mom. Hey, hey. <laughs> Honestly, genes are powerful. Though. Like mother, like daughter. Really? You know, this was how I fell for Nina's father when he was still married to her mom. I don't know. There's this just this thing that excites me when I take something that belongs to another person. And I see you have that kind of adventurous vibe in you. You know, you have all it takes to get him to yourself. So, why don't you just Pull the trigger. Fire down. I will just be sitting pretty here watching what's going on. Or you want me to help you get him? Don't get me involved. No, Mom. I have my plan. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Okay. How dare him? Kai, this is in a bad market, though. 
No worry. I go just grab you, knock you better knocking, scatter that nonsense where you get within a way they call relationship. Fool. God, please help me. Give me this miracle, please. This is my best opportunity to make this thing work again. Let things fall in my favor, Lord. I will forever serve you, please, if you save me from this shame and humiliation. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't look it. For days now you've been behaving disturbed. And each time I ask you, you say you are okay. When did we start hiding things from each other? <sighs> I'm not trying to hide anything from you, okay? I'm just working on something and I hope it clicks. Pray for me, please. I always pray for you that God favors you and make life easy for you. Amen. Amen. So just try and sleep. You sleep, I'm fine. Okay. All right. My angel, I'm sorry I'm keeping this away from you for now, but your birthday is coming up and I pray that our properties are released before then. I really need to surprise you. Like, I need to surprise you massively. I can't wait to share it with him. We're expecting our first baby. I think my birthday is the best day to do that. I don't know why he has been worried lately. I pray God makes a way for him. Interesting. Nicole told me that you're hardly at your duty posts these days. You're always out. It looks like you're not taking your job very seriously anymore. Auntie, I'm taking my job seriously, but I can't be here 24 7 now. I have to be out and about to take care of some personal things to better myself. Really? Things more important than your job. Listen, if I realize that you're not taking your job seriously, I will not hesitate to replace you. And you know what that means. Auntie, I value the job. I really do. Thank you. But I have other things I need my attention if I want to better myself. And that's what I... I see. Hello? Oh, yes. It's my first birthday with him and he's not even here. Maybe he doesn't care. 
No. I can't doubt my husband's love just because of my birthday celebration. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Nicole, for at least being here to listen to me. So, as you both know, today's my wife's birthday. And I want to call her down, but I want us to sing a happy birthday song for her when she gets here. It's a pretty easy song. Happy birthday to you. I'm sure you know the song, Auntie. I'm sure you know the song, Nicole. Please, do you mind helping me? No challenge. But I don't understand. What kind of birthday are you doing? No drinks? No cakes? Well, I'm sure she will understand. You know, I'm not in a very financially buoyant position, so I'll do what I can. Nicole, please, would you join me, Auntie? No challenge. Nicole. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me call. Just give me a second. Uh, babe, how far? Hello? Outside? Yeah, yeah, come down. Yeah. Who's, whose phone is that? Oh, the iPhone. No, Auntie, I borrowed it, so I'll return it after all this. I just wanted to make a statement. Very typical. <sighs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my angel. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby. Mm. Hold on. Good. I have a surprise for you. It's your birthday and I wanted to gift you something. What's that? Is that not a car key? Yes, it is. And it's yours. Where did you get it from? Charles, I don't want to get into trouble. What? Well, what's happening? Babe, I don't understand. God has finally shone his light on us. Remember two months ago when you bought me a laptop? I used the laptop and I did some digging on the internet and I was trying to find out the people who framed me and my dad and it turned out to be some business rivals. So I did some more digging and I did some investigation and found evidence. I submitted that evidence to the EFCC and they released all the assets and all the property. So we are millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem? What's going on? What is it, Nicole? Listen, she's not even my sister. I'm the, I'm the one you're supposed to marry. I'm the, I was the one that was betrayed to you, but she's my stepsister. And she lied to you about everything. She, she said she was going to marry because she wanted my mom to pay her school fees. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> That's unfortunate because I already knew. Huh? <laughs> Look. My wife already told me all about this. And even if she did not, I'd always pick her over you. Auntie, thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me my wife in place of your daughter. Because if your daughter was in this position, I do not know what my life would have turned out to be. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a surprise for you. What surprise? Give me the gist now. Stop holding it. Um, do you want to uh, whisper it in my ear or do you want to announce it for everybody? Which do you prefer? I'd love it if you announce <laughs> it for everybody in my opinion. Tell me, what's the gist? Um, I actually waited for you to call me. I'm pregnant. <gasps> no! <laughs> what? what? Why wouldn't you tell me? Are you serious? Oh my God! <laughs> really? Look, from here, we're going to any country you want. Pick. Pick one. Let's go right now. From this, like, we need to go. Big tell me something. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Anywhere you go. Like, some things like visa on arrival. <laughs> Let's go somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> and to see you, uh, Nicole, hey, I'll catch you somewhere. Bye. 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 Mommy, why are you sitting there? This is your fault. This Do is your fault. Don't even go there. Why did you give my husband to her? Don't even go there. You this greedy girl. I pleaded with you to marry this guy. You said no. Don't get me angry. Me, I want to travel. Oh. You have never said... Follow them now. Follow them. Allow me to process this whole shock in peace. I don't even know. 
I think I'm hot. And maybe cold at the same time. <laughs>